Good morning, my name's Julie from So Unique and I will pop all the links down below where you can find me on social media. I'm most active on Instagram and I have an Etsy shop. Um, welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. Can't believe it. We're sort of, what was it, a week before it'll be the eve of Christmas Eve this time next week. Wow, where's this year gone to? Anyhow, it's Monday. I'm at home today and I've got that many things to do that yeah, fresh now. I don't know where to start actually today. Um but as you'll have seen if you watched yesterday's vlog, I made some vegetable soup last night and it was really nice. So I will pop um, a little clip in just after this clip so it tasted really nice and we had some of the bread that we bought yesterday so really nice tea last night um, I think I'm going to start my day with a nice cup of Yorkshire tea and I'm going to sit down and have maybe an hour and I'm going to do a bit of knitting working on my second advent sock so as for anything else today i don't know <laughs> uh, we'll just see how things go so before i sit down to do my knitting i've got my tea thought i'd share with you my advent calendars um <laughs> my tea for today Sorry, there's a bit of a glare here. The sun's coming through the side window. Licorice and cinnamon. And this is um, a deliciously exotic blend of organic cacao, cinnamon and licorice. Well, I can't say anything else, can I? <laughs> oh, dear me. And the candle today is after sledging mm. that's nice it's not very strong though uh my roses moments calendar today i've got a handmade little clay ornament so that will go on the tree and from nikki with the they family yarn Advent swap that we're doing is it's pink, but it's not. It's not coming up. It looks a bit more salmony on there, but it is nice. Now I, I will, I will get a proper photograph of these and pop it on because I keep saying that and I don't do it. I forget. So this is my second advent sock. The colours are in a uh, different order, so they are really going to be mismatched socks. I am down. I've just I've done the heel turn. I've picked up my stitches and I'm on the gusset. So I'm going to sit down and uh, yeah, well, it might not be an hour now, but I'm going to have a little bit of time, get a few rounds done. So yeah, I'll see you a bit later on. Well, I had my cup of tea and I haven't done any knitting. <laughs> I've been doing a bit of planning for next month. I got a little bit carried away there. Time's getting on now. Um, so I've decided to come into the kitchen. Um, I've got some plums in the fridge and the usual thing, they're not very sweet. So I've been baking mine in the oven with some sugar on and that's what I'm doing now. I've just uh, prepped them all. So I'm just going to pop them into the oven for a while. So I've got plenty of uh, yoghurt. I like the, the total 0% yoghurt, especially for breakfast. I um, don't have it all the time, but I've got several cartons in the fridge. So it looks like it's going to be plums for breakfast this week. And the plums are all cooked and they're just cooling down now. 
Looking forward to having these later. I'm <laughs> shaking a bit there. Well, it's been a funny old day today. I've got all these sort of jobs and plans to do today. I've hardly done anything. Well, I feel I've hardly done anything. I sort of sidetracked myself a little bit with getting some planning done and that for next month. <laughs> but at least, at least the planning, I suppose, is, is done for next month. Um, Adele's busy doing a bit of making for me, so that'll be something nice to share with you. But unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see it until, well, probably 1st of January. I think we haven't quite decided sort of when this, these new things are going to be on show, but I, will, I do think it's 1st of January. So you've yeah, not got too long to wait. Um, but yeah, because I've been planning, I don't feel like I've done much. I've got I've got a cupboard to sort out in the kitchen um, that I just stores all sorts. But like when it's Christmas, I like to put certain things in the cupboard, and everybody knows they're not allowed to touch it because it's the Christmas cupboard. But I've not done that today, so that might be that might be done tomorrow. I wanted to get some wrapping done today and I haven't even done that. Oh dear, I don't know. So long as I get a bit of time this week. Um, I mean, I've got my little helper several days this week. Um, I'm, do, I'm on the school run actually four days this week because his mum's not very well at the minute. So she's she's stuck at home. She can't get out. Cause it's a fair walk to school and she's not well enough to to walk all that way at the minute so i'm fetching him uh so tomorrow when i get him i am just going to sort of drop him off at home because i've got that much to do and then wednesday i'll fetch him and he'll come for his tea then and i think wednesday we're actually going to be doing a bit of baking i said to him today oh what do you want to bake I want to make a cake. It's <laughs> so it's the chocolate cake. Um, he liked the last one that we made really, really, really well. Much, I should say. Um, he wants to do one of them. So it put galaxy chocolate in. And we actually made the chocolate butter icing. And I think, you know, that's gone down probably a bit too well. Because now he doesn't want the tub of bought icing. So never mind. He'll enjoy that. Not sure what, whether I'm having him Thursday or not, but I'm having him Friday tea time. Um, and he wants uh, what did he want this week? He wanted an English breakfast for his tea. <sighs> I thought, okay, fair enough. I said to him, I haven't got all the sausage and bacon and that in at the minute. I said, You'll have to wait until I've done my shopping. So I think the trouble is, my shopping this week is not coming till Friday. So I've given him the choice if he wants it, if he wants to wait and have it on Friday, um, when he comes round to our house, it'll be sort of tea time. But I says to him, well, maybe you can come round a little bit earlier and I'll do your tea. So I think that, I think he's happy now. <laughs> uh, yes. So he has specific things that he likes and that's it. He's a bit of a fussy eater. But never mind, we've got him sorted. We tend to, we t I tell you, we tend to stick to the same things because he's, he's been chicken, dipper's chicken nuggets. And that has been it for well over a year. 
Then we sort of added in pizza. We've had hot dog sausages. Uh, what else have we had? He likes tuna sandwiches. He has that as a snack, I tell you. I don't know where he puts it all. Um, we have had spaghetti bolognese occasionally. So I says to him, I said, I think, and then he gets a bit fed up because obviously he just has the one thing time again. So I says to him, I think next year, I said, we need to do a little bit of planning and try and get you to try some new foods. So I'm not to get fed up with them. So yeah, that's the thing. Anyhow, um, I'm, I've had to come and sit out in my craft room because they've taken over the kitchen and the conservatory and the front room, all of them. I've got nowhere to film where it's quiet, so I'm out here. It's a bit cold out here tonight. I think um, my heating's going to have to get turned up a little bit. Um, but I'm going to pop back in the house now. Uh, I've left Kevin doing the tea dishes and... I'm going to go and make uh, an orange cake. Now the recipe is in the Biro book. It's one of the older Biro books because it's not in the the newer version that I've got. I mean, I haven't got the newest version, but uh, yeah. And basically, it's a Victoria sandwich, and you put some orange juice and most of the uh, rind off the orange so that should be nice to make a change because I mean we've had lemon cake several times and Victoria sponge seems to go down quite well everybody seems to like that I think it's because it's a, a firm cake and even I like it and I'm, I'm not a cakey person so yes yeah, so that's what I'm going to go and do and I think while that's doing I might I don't know whether to do a little bit more planning, maybe just finalise a few things. I think I might need to do a little bit more shopping and then I'll be happy. Um, and then I'll, yeah, the rest of the evening I want to do some knitting. <laughs> I haven't really done much today. So yeah. <laughs> and well, I'm going to call it a day now for the filming and go and get everything edited and uploaded onto the computer. Uh, so yes, I'd like to say well thank you for joining me today and welcome to any new subscribers. Thank you for taking time out to join me, that's really good. And I will see you tomorrow for, oh, I don't even know what day I'm on, day 17 I think it is tomorrow isn't it? So yes, enjoy the rest of your evening anyhow, whatever you're doing. <laughs> see you tomorrow, bye.